everybody, it's Chris and Ethan from Miller Trotto Source here at the RF Lake Heath Commissary and today we'd like to take a few moments of your time to show you around the 2018 Dodge Journey Crossroads. Um, now this isn't like normal traditional uh, seven seaters, it's, it's not really a minivan or an SUV, it kind of sits in the middle, it's a, it's a CUV or what they call a crossover uh, utility vehicle. It does have a lot of the features you would expect to see on a bigger SUV or minivan so let's take a look around it and um, we'll go from there so as you can see straight up front you've got the traditional Dodge styling you've got that crosshair up front with the Dodge badging and you've got the halogen headlights and then down at the bottom you've got the premium fog lights as well as you come around the side you can see it's got really nice clean lines it's got the black belt line the nice cross rails along the roof and then a nice little silver running trim across the bottom with those grey alloy wheels, you can see they're four disc anti-lock brakes and it has roll stability and roll mitigation as well. One of the good things of the uh, journey is the seats and the way that the doors work to get in. So what we're going to do is we'll go around to the rear, check out the trunk and then we'll jump inside and go from there. To the rear of the journey, um, it's really quite nice. The lighting and everything's just it's nicely smoothed in, it's, it's not too in your face. Um, this does have the backup camera and the reverse sensing system for those tight spaces. And then when you open the trunk, this is where the magic happens with the CUV. So right now you can see there's not a huge amount uh, of actual luggage space. And that's because of the way that they configure the seating. So this seating here at the rear is a 50-50 split. Um, so what happens is you can drop just one side down. And then you can create more cargo area. And if you drop them both down then you'll have a full cargo area. And the idea behind this is, is that you can have seven seats when you need it, or five seats and plenty of trunk space when you don't need it. They're very easy to come up and down. It's just one lever. You just pull and push, and then bring the headrest back up. And once you're sitting back here, you still have access to cup holders and all that good stuff for your rear passengers. So it's actually quite nice. Getting in and out of the back of the journey is really cool as well. First thing you'll notice is these really wide doors. They open practically 90 degrees. And then you can see once you get inside here, there's actually quite a bit of space. Um, so jumping into the back seat is really easy. It's just one lever. When you pull that forward, you can see you can go straight into the back seat. And then you just push this back. Now, these seats here in the middle, they also they go back and forward as well so you can create a little bit more leg room in the rear and for the rear passengers in the middle section you've got pull down which houses your cup holders and separates the kids all that good stuff and the middle two seats they also go back and forward as well so unlike a, a, a traditional um, minivan or SUV it's really easy to jump in and out of the back of the journey Let's check inside the journey, see what kind of cool technology features we've got in there. Because there's some really nice bits and bats in here. So this is the inside, and um, you know, as you can see, the cabin area is really very spacious, and everything's quite easily um, laid out and usable. I do like that it has the tilt steering up and down and back and forward as well. Um, so, like most of the other cars that you've seen when we've done our reviews, the steering wheel has everything you would expect the cruise controls on there your voice recognition systems on there and, and everything's really quite simply laid out for you this is um this is the journey crossroads and it has um the leather seats like we we said with the sport mesh interior it has the automatic transmission and also the 3.6 engine uh liter engine so you do get a little bit more um like the driver's convenience package that gets you the backup camera and the reverse sensing system and then this also has the upgraded sound system. So this is Uconnect um, 3, and it's the larger screen. So I'll just turn that on for you. Uh, and this screen here really basically controls everything. Again, like in some of our other videos, you'll see how good they are. Um, this is all touch screen, and very simple. It works your radio. Uh, if you've got music or anything crazy like that on USB sticks, you can put it in here. This also has a CD player, which is unusual for cars these days, but it also has an SD card slot right here, so you can put music in on your SD. The controls are really simple. Um, you just press the button right here, and you can play around with, um, you know, the, the temperature. Everything's 
touch screen so you just you just press the buttons and, and to play around with it. it's really quite simple and then for the rear passengers up here at the top you have um, Trizon uh, air conditioning and control system so the rear passengers can actually control their own system as well and the vents at the top they they blow the air down so everybody in the vehicle gets warm at the same time you're not waiting for people um, to catch up and then of course once you put your cell phone in here you can use your cell phone to make phone calls and all that good stuff. Uh, so the cool thing about this radio is where the backup camera is. Um, as you can see, it's it's really quite nice. It gives you a little thing there to say check your surroundings. Um, but with this camera here, it's a full color display even at night, so you can see everything that you need to. And it also has the um, parking sensors, so you can actually see what's happening. And if there's something hidden a little bit below the camera line. The beeping noise will will warn you about that so that's really nice uh, and then once you move over you can play in with the settings on this and this is one of Dodge's really cool things because they allow you to to do certain things so for example if you work nights and um, you're in a quiet neighborhood you can actually tell the vehicle not to sound the horn when you lock it um, things like that there's there's lots of really cool settings in here you can have uh, lots of fun and you can and work with the backup camera and everything as well so that that system right here the Uconnect system is really good gets a lot of good reviews online that system so if you if you're out there just just check that out then a little bit further down here you have the um, drivers uh, area so you've got your air conditioning and, and all that good stuff right here's very easy to use so everything's simple and in the, the drivers area now in the inside of the journey this is really cool because there's, there's lots of ways you can move these seats and get everything done so like the second row seats they move back and forward the third row seats they're fold away so you can have half down half up and it's the same in the rear you can move them back and forward so it's quite a versatile vehicle what you what you should do is come up and have a look at it and then we can show you around it we can play around with it put the kitty seats in and just show you how actually how nice it is to be able to move everything around the way you can um, so let's go back outside have a look at some of the standard features on this check out the engine uh, and then we'll go from there right so that's the interior done um, so let's have a look around the outside I'll tell you some more about the standard features on this and then if you want to come and have a look at it we'll make an appointment for you so like I said this is super super nice it is the journey crossroad so it has some really nice extra features on there um, you get like I said the, the nice halogen headlights you get the fog lights you get the Dodge grille up front you get those alloy wheels you get the active head restraints the multi-stage airbag systems in there as well uh, everything's body colored on the outside you get brake assist which is really nice some very cool videos on brake assist online um, basically it's designed to help you stop a lot quicker uh, in emergency situations you get the child anchor lock systems in there you get the tire pressure monitor system on there as well um, this is the 3.6 uh, v6 um, so that's the nicer of the options that are available it's got the automatic transmission the backup camera the reverse sensing system um, it's got the nice big radio in there as well on the outs on the inside and um, then you've got power windows power door locks power driver's seat power passenger seats um, you've got rear air conditioning three zone all round you've got the anti-theft system um, you've got remote keyless entry you've got push button start dual exhaust there's really loads of good features on this journey so if you're interested in hearing more about it or you need any more information come and see myself Chris or my son Ethan we're here at the RF Lake in his commissary seven days a week um, cars available for test drives or anything crazy like that so just come and see us ask us your questions and we'll go from there thank you very much for watching have a great day stay tuned and, and you'll see some of our other videos coming up